Hey guys, it's Angie Tanini Rogers, and today we are here to talk about posting on Craigslist. And what I am going to do is tell you all the tips that you have to follow in order to avoid getting ghosted or flagged. The number one problem people face on face on uh, Craigslist is that you get ghosted or flagged when you try to post your ad. So we're going to talk about how to avoid that. All right, first off, it is all about collecting emails. When you are posting ads on Craigslist, the only thing you are trying to do is to collect an email. You're not trying to share a business. You're not trying to get them to look at your biz op. You are trying to collect an email. Groupon is a multi-million dollar organization, and all they do is collect emails. All right, Craigslist is posting um, that's easy and effective if you know how to do it the right way. So first we're going to talk about some of the nevers uh, that you need to adhere to. All right, so number one is that you need to never post any more than three ads a day. Um, and if you want to be conservative and um, be sure that you are not ghosted or flagged, you need to do three ads every other day. That gets you to about 40, 45 ads a month, which is plenty of ads if you are staying up where you should and if you're not getting ghosted or flags, uh, or flagged. So do three ads every other day. Images. We do not use images. Okay. Uh, that's an internet marketing technique, but Again, when we are posting on Craigslist, all we want to do is post a bit, post a um, get an email. So all our goal is to do is to collect an email. We don't need them to click on fancy images. We don't need them to go to a website uh, and see you know what's behind that image. We just need to collect their email. So no images, and we want to look as as much like a career or a job as the other guys do. Um, so we want to fit in right with the other uh, careers and jobs that are posting on Craigslist. If you are already on the first page of a state, okay, you do not want to post in that state again. So if you're already on the same uh, in that same state, if you're already on the first page, then just avoid that state. If you post in Houston, Texas, then you know the next day when you are ready to post again, post in a different state and city. Okay, never use the same title in any of your ads. Never, ever, ever, and never make, never allow the first sentence or the last sentence in any of your postings be the same. So if you start with immediate positions to fill, that's your first sentence, then in out of 40 other ads, that cannot be your first sentence, sentence again. If you have 40 ads up, then you cannot have the same title. You're going to have to have 40 different ads. 40 different titles and then it's not going to be that hard. I'm going to show you how to do it. Never use a personal email for the contact. Okay. And never use, and I didn't mean autoresponder here actually guys, I meant out of office. Okay. Never use an out of office message that is attached to your email address. That robots that Craigslist uses to figure out who is um, trying to deceive the, the site uh, will catch that and they will take you down. All right, here are some of the do's. Do post every other day and do three ads in that day, okay? Do post in real job categories. Do not post in biz ops, okay? And the reason is, is because, guys, we're teaching you how to post as a job, okay? We're, we're posting in J-O-Bs. We are not posting for biz ops. We do not want someone to connect with our biz op right now. We just want to collect an email. And in order to do that, we need to post in real job categories such as administration, accounting, HR, real estate, any other, any category you want to, um, as long as it's not the biz op. Okay, thousands of people are posting in biz op because they cannot figure out how to use Craigslist and not get ghosted and flagged. If you don't ever do anything on the never list and you do everything on the do list, then you won't get ghosted and flagged. You'll stay at the top of these real job categories and you will collect more emails than you will ever know what to do with. Okay, do rotate and post in different states and cities every time you post. Okay, we talked about that. All right, here's the kicker, guys. Pay the $25 to post an ad. Okay? Pay the $25 to post an ad, and I'll tell you why. Uh, most people use Craigslist because it's free to post there. But you are not most people. You are a business minded person who understands that in order to make money, you need to invest money. In order to make uh, enough 
or something effective, you've got to put some money into it. So pay the $25 to post in a paid city. And if you avoid doing all of the things on the never list, and if you do all the things on the do list, then you'll stay at the top of that paid uh, city ad and for, you know, 30 days or so, and you'll get a lot of leads versus if you pay in a free city and still follow all these rules, you'll still end up getting less because more people will be posting on top of you because you're you're on a free a free ad. So as many times as possible, guys, budget for for paying twenty five dollars to be in a paid city. All right, use a domain that is a professional domain. Okay, you want to look professional. You do not want makemoneynow.com. Okay, or um, you know earn earn a great income now. You don't want that. You want something that is career based. Okay, so um, you know newcareerforyou.com. Um, recruit for new to rear career dot com, career for you now dot com, something about a career related uh, site. All right. Do use an airtight capture page. We are going to talk about what this means. This is extremely important again because the mindset here is, guys, we are not looking for um, anyone to see our biz op. We're looking for someone to capture an email from. Okay. And then finally, remain consistent. Do remain consistent. Don't think that you're going to post three ads today and then come back in 60 days and post three more and and get some leads. You might get a few, but you're not going to get, you know, a a lot. You're not going to get enough to make a difference. You're going to, this is a numbers game, guys. You got to post a lot of ads and then you got to collect a lot of emails to get through the the ones um, that are going to be winners. All right. So um, remain consistent, post three ads every other day. Um, and you know, by the end of the month, you're going to have 40, 45 ads or so. Okay. All right. Here's some sample titles. And like I said, if you have four, let's just say 40, um, 40 ads up in a month, you are going to want to make sure you have 40 different titles. Here are four examples. Help wanted, many positions to fill, immediate positions to fill, great immediate positions to be filled, USA, full and part-time positions available. Um, you know, new openings in your area, um, need you for small job now. Yeah, you know, I mean just come up with with 40 different titles. Make sure it's generic and make sure it is um airtight again, meaning that it doesn't tell you anything other than that there's something open for somebody, okay? And guys, if you go to monster.com, indeed.com, career builder, you will see that most of those ads look about the same. This is not internet marketing email marketing psychology right here. This is a job mentality. People go to Craigslist to look for a J-O-B, all right, um, or, or another career opportunity. They're not going to look for a biz op usually. So what you want to do is blend in with everybody else posting for jobs and then get their email and then you'll start talking to them and appealing to them why they may want to look at something different. But right now we're just worried about getting their email, okay? Sample body. So this is the body of the ad. Uh, again, immediate positions to fill is going to be your title. Uh, you can put compensation in there, okay, right here. Uh, 200 to 400 per day, average train, after training, following training, okay. You're going to have full support provided, have basic computer skills, email work such as collector data entry, work from home or at a local office. We can say this because in most business opportunities, there is someone in their area working with that business. So it is potential that they could connect with them um, and, um, you know, their office would be in their home, but it is local to to someone in that area okay have a great work ethic we're looking for you all right this right here is extremely important right here these two things do not mess this up this is really 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 important all right to review the requirements and see position description register at uh, and here's your domain new.recruitfornewcareer.com this is a GoDaddy domain that I went out and got, and it is career related, okay, right here, career related. Um, so nobody would know that it is going to lead to an opportunity or, and I'll show you what it's going to lead to. Um, nobody knows what's behind there. Okay. It, it, it looks like any other job that somebody's looking for and that's what we want. And down here, extremely important as well. You're going to tell them, do not send emails. Do not send emails. Okay. Use the form at the website to register. Use the form at the website to get your position descriptions. Whatever you want to say, but make sure it is consistent with a job. 
All right. Uh, and then you can end it with something like your new career awaits you. Um, we're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you for registering, whatever you want to say. Here's some more phrases you can use in your bot in the body of the emails. I mean, the ads um, two to four fifty a day. You need to make sure that this amount, whatever you you say here, matches the compensation box. There will be a compensation box area that you'll be prompted to fill in when you do your ad. Make sure these numbers match. If these numbers do not match, the robots that they send out to catch you doing something wrong will catch you and you'll be ghosted and flagged. OK. Um, we're now looking for energetic, friendly, self-motivated. Um, we're looking for personality, energy, positive attitude, willingness to learn. Come up with some, um, you know, characteristics that you like about someone. Put them in there. You know, you're going to need 40 different email or 40 different ads. Put the different personnel or different uh, characteristics you want and just mix them up and put them in there. Just, it, you know, all the all of those will be different. You can come up with, you know, 20 to, to 40 different characteristics that you would want to have uh, someone be in your business with. OK, and then here, if you use a, a position, which is fine, you can do this. Make sure that it matches the category you're in. So if you're in real estate, don't you know, or let's um, if you're in restaurant, let's say you're in the restaurant category. Don't put um, looking for a real estate rep. OK, OK. All right. Here's three definite ways to get your your ad ghosted or flagged. And, and everybody know what ghosted means. It means that it just goes away. They don't necessarily flag your account, but it just it doesn't show up anymore. You can see it, but nobody else can see it if they go search it. OK, flagged means that they they take it down off your account. They, they um, kind of like a YouTube or Google Plus or whatever. They flag you. They take it down and, and you get like a, a bad mark. All right. Um, that this is bad. Ghosted is just that nobody else can find it. So it's kind of a waste. Flagged is that they block you from posting. All right. So using an affiliate link, this is huge, 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 huge. No, no. The robots that they send out will catch this and you will be flagged. They will block you. And if you happen to have done a paid link or a paid ad, they will block your ad, they will um, block your credit card that you use. And sometimes they block the IP address, which is the address that your computer and internet came from to post on that Craigslist. They'll block that too. So not only did they block your ad, they blocked your credit card that you used to pay for the ad. And then they blocked your whole system as far as your internet. So you'd have to go to next door neighbors and use their, their, you know, Wi-Fi in order to post on Craigslist. So you do not want to do that. So avoid using affiliate links at all costs. Okay. Get a domain at godaddy.com, uh, related to careers. It's 99 cents or 2.99. Get it, find one that has something to do with careers, nothing to do with the biz op, nothing to do with earning money, nothing to do with earning income. Okay. Get a career related domain. All right. Remember, the purpose of posting on Craigslist is to get an email. That's it. It's not to show them a biz op. All right. So you number two. So that was number one, using affiliate link. That's huge. That's the biggest deal there is. Do not do this. Um, all right. Number two is using the same titles. OK, using the same titles. If you have 40 ads up and you have two titles that are exactly the same, they'll get blocked and they could block all 40 of your ads. So do not use the same titles. Switch them around. Use the last word for the first word. Just make sure it makes sense. All right. Um, the other thing is the first and last sentence in the body of your email. The robots will look at your titles to see if you have duplicates. They'll look at your first sentence and your last sentence in each of the bodies of your ads. If your first sentence in ad number one is duplicate of the ad at number 22, then they could block it. OK, same with the last sentence. The other thing is that the sentences in the middle of your body, let's say you have five sentences, the first and last we've taken care of. The three sentences in the middle, if those are the same in every other ad, then they're going to see that as duplicate and they're going to throw it out. So just come up with some different characteristics you like about people and put them in there. Switch the words around. Um, just be a little bit creative, but generic enough to where you don't look like you are um, a biz op. All right. And then using mismatched compensation, we talked about if your numbers are different, it'll block you. So um, and this is actually number four right here. Tell them to contact you in on your domain. OK, and I'm going to show you what your domain should have on it once they click that. All right. 
Um, so there's um, www.yourcareerdomain.com. And guys, this is not a real domain. It's just an example. Go to GoDaddy and get yourself a domain. Um, make sure that your domain is masked. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, GoDaddy has um, has uh, videos to show you how to do that. And make sure it's an airtight capture page. What I mean by that is that wherever this domain leads to, make sure that it is an airtight capture page. Make sure that when the person gets to what this domain is, that they cannot tell anything different then I'm looking for a job trying to find out about positions. So I'm going to show you an example of an airtight capture page of what I'm talking about. And again, guys, um, what I meant here was out of the office response, an automatic email that goes back to somebody who uses an email. Sometimes domains are hooked up to emails. Make sure that if it is hooked up to an email, that it is not hooked up to an out of the office assistant or an automatic response. Okay, I'm not talking about a whopper and get response. You you are going to have this domain connected to that because when you collect their email it doesn't do any good if it doesn't get on your list so you got to have it connected to a Weber or get response or MailChimp or whatever it is you're using but I'm talking about something that automatically goes back to um, you know if Craigslist were to go in and put something into your domain and it automatically shot them back um, an out of office response from an email address okay I'm not talking about the domain all right here is a airtight uh, capture page. This is what I'm talking about. So you remember back here um, where I said, here it is, where I said to review the requirements and see the position descriptions. You remember that when I said that? Okay. So here's the page where they're going to go to and it says, thank you for your interest. Please enter your email to get more information about available positions in your area. So that is generic enough. OK, where they're not going to think anything other than they're getting ready to find out about positions that we have for a J-O-B. Right. So I'm going to put their email in here and you can do one of two things. I'm going to put my email in here, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm going to push get access. It's going to go then to um, you're going to fly over into a thank you page where it just goes over, you know, the email when you put it into this capture page here is connected to, say, your AWeber. So it'll get on your AWeber list, and your AWeber list will be connected to whatever you want it to be connected to. So if it's about, you know, email sales training, then it they'll start to get those emails. It's, if it's about, um, you know, how to post Craigslist ads, then it'll, you know, go to that, whatever you put it in. But it, this is your capture page that goes to your AWeber or your get response or your autoresponder, okay? Um, then when I put my email in here, the next page that I see is either going to be a thank you page, okay? So I'm going to put my email in and then it's going to go. I'm going to, it's going to be a thank you page. Thank you for registering. You will please, um, you know, um, Please look out for your email for the available positions we have in your area, and then you, they'll start getting your emails, okay? Um, or you can go to a landing page here um, as long as your domain is masked. So when you put in the masked domain, which again, if you don't know how to do this, then go to GoDaddy and, and watch their tutorial or search it on uh, Google and a YouTube video will come up and show you how to do it. It's real easy. Um, but when it's mass, it's going to say something like um, recruiting for your new career right here or something like that. Or um, thank you for inquiring about the open positions in your area. That's what's going to show up in the browser once they you know, put their email in and they go to your landing page. OK, it might be an eBay selling training that shows up to them. But up in the browser, when you've masked it, it will say, you know, thanks for, for asking about available, available positions or whatever. Okay. All right. So those are the tips, guys. Here's what I can guarantee for you. If you follow the, what I just told you in this um, PowerPoint, then you will not get ghosted or flagged. If you do get ghosted or flagged, you are not doing something correctly. You're doing something that I did not tell you to do or you're doing uh, something that I told you not to do, okay? It is... Uh, you know, I can't guarantee anything because I don't know what you're going to do. But I'm saying if you follow what I'm telling you, you will not get ghosted or flagged. So here's what I want you to do. For the next 30 days, I want you to post three ads on um, Craigslist every other day. And one of those ads every other day, I want it to be paid. So that is going to be four paid ads in a month. Um, and that's at the very least. That's going to be $100. 
25 times 4 is 100. Okay, that's an investment you're going to use for your business. Okay, um, if you do this and you follow every rule, I want you to come back and comment in the video in the comment area below this video and tell me what the outcome was for the number of leads you got. OK, so, um, if you are interested in learning more tricks and tips, you can go to the website that's uh, clickable below this uh, video and uh, be even more successful on Craigslist. OK, so guys, I hope you enjoyed these tricks and tips today. And I again guarantee you, if you follow the nevers and you do all of the do's, then you will be very successful in using Craigslist as one of your avenues to uh, collect emails and get leads for your business. All right, guys. Uh, talk soon and make it a great day.